three. One, two, three, and it's oh. open. All right. Scenes from the official ribbon cutting at Child Development Center 2. The center, along with other CYS programs, welcome kids back April 26th. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a Meet High teacher is the county's best. It's Volunteer Appreciation Week and a final moment with Major General Omar Jones. These stories and more, but first at this week's installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland used numbers to address questions about why the post might not be reopening facilities and services as quickly as the surrounding community. On March 9th, the case rate in the surrounding area were, was 13 cases over 100,000. It has been on a steady increase since March 9th. The last report I got, we were sitting just uh, right at 21 cases over 100,000. Remember, our goal is five. Preferably, we're below 10, but we really want to get all the way down to five. We're nowhere close to that right now. The colonel went on to say that transmission rates on the installation have remained lower because of the extra abundance of caution. You can watch the entire town hall on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, Mead High School Chinese teacher Jing Dai has been named the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Teacher of the Year for 2021. Dai has taught at Mead High for nine years and is the second Mead High teacher to win the award since its inception in 1986. We'll talk a lot more with Dai on an upcoming episode of our podcast, Fort Mead Declassified. Meanwhile, every year during National Volunteer Week, Ford Meade recognizes its thousands of volunteers and, of course, the Volunteers of the Year. Earlier this week, we published a virtual ceremony, so we'll just run down the winners in case you missed it. The 2021 Youth Volunteer of the Year is Ariana Braley, a thrift shop volunteer. The Volunteer Family of the Year is the Potts Family, nominated by the Fort Meade Spouses Club. The Organization of the Year is the Fort Meade Spouses Club. Mavie Connor, nominated by the Post Thrift Shop, is the Civilian Volunteer of the Year after contributing more than 3,500 hours in the past year. And finally, Master Sergeant Nicholas Potts from Air Force Cybercom is the Active Duty Volunteer of the Year. He was nominated by the Fort Meade Spouses Club. All told, there were nearly 3,500 volunteers on Fort Meade this year, which translates into more than $580,000 in services. Congratulations to all this year's volunteers. In a related story, Army Broadcasting did a profile of the Volunteer Corps right here at Fort Meade. We have about 3,500 volunteers, and in the last year, those volunteers gave us almost uh, a little over half a million dollars worth of services that if they were jobs, they would be paid for those services. From the commander's part, because this program is the Garrison Commander's Program, we would like to see as many people as possible register so that we can get a good idea of who is volunteering in our community. And then to get more of the people, if you need help, let us know you need help so that we can maybe design a program or an activity that can help you to get the, the services that you need. When you see the sacrifices that you as soldiers make, to our country, selfless sacrifice, and then to turn around and there's someone in need of painting for rooms for homeless folks or simply helping to pick up trash along the area to make it more beautiful and to preserve it, then that alone is quite rewarding and it gives me a little warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. If you haven't caught an episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified, we have one coming up very soon that we're sure you'll enjoy. Major General Omar Jones, the Commander of Joint Force Headquarters in the National Capital Region and the U.S. Army Military District of Washington and Fort Meade Senior Commander, is in the final weeks of his tenure as he transitions into his new assignment as Deputy Commanding General of Installation Management Command. The General, an Ellicott City native, stopped by the Public Affairs Office this week during his self-described final official visit to Fort Meade. The extended conversation hit on many topics, including housing and the pandemic. We also got to see some of the general's personal side. One of my favorite questions is Star Trek or Star Wars? And I think you're actually missing part of the question. Ooh. Because you could go either which portion of Star Wars or which portion of Star Trek. Ooh. I am firmly old school Star Trek. Nice. From the 60s. William Shatner, oh. old school Star awesome. Trek. No doubt about it. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Brian yeah. Spann in the studio clapping <laughs> in the background. You're getting a round one. of applause. Yeah. Okay. Listen to the entire conversation on the May 4th edition of Fort Meade Declassified. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.